To me, education is uh, to bring to the young generation the idea that we live in a world with full with questions. And the basic of this question is that we don't have the answers. And together, the young generation, the older generation, we need to look for answers. The answers is not the right answers, but the answers give us much clearer view about what is the questions. I think school becomes a democratic school when uh, the people inside the school want to be a democratic school. And this is a really deep and very important uh, decision. And why to make this decision? The, it's begin to, it, when you begin to ask why I do what I do at school. And from where is coming this tradition that we see in, in our schools today. And most of our traditional that we see in our school today coming from the middle of the Industrial Revolution. Uh, that uh, the world was undemocratic. So we see people, the students that need to sit uh, six, seven, eight hours on a chair and not move. And if they move, they, we tell them that they, they uh, uh, interrupt the lessons and uh, we punish them uh, and the best now the solution that now people found is to make give them drugs that they will stop to move and uh, i think we need to ask ourselves how it's happened that today students need to sit six seven eight hours on a chair and the quick answer is that the old school want to uh, prepare students to work in the factory. Factory that is not existing today. So the school, the school that we see today prepare the student to the past. And if you want to prepare the student to the future, the future is uh, for example, if students want to find a job today and work in a, a good uh, a job, they need to be creative, thinking outside the, uh, the box, uh, uh, build their jobs, create their jobs, not go to find a job. So all these new things, we call them democratic education. It's, if I will say it's in one sentence, democratic education is uh, education that decide to prepare the children to the future and not to the past. What we need to, to change, as I say in the beginning, is to understand that what we are doing today is not working. Uh, what we're doing today bring to what uh, uh, we talk about a lot all over the world is about the lost generation. What is the lost generation? Is our best student that we told them, finish high school and everything will be okay. And so they finish high school. And then we tell them, finish first grade, uh, uh, BA and you will prepare yourself to the future. So they finish. And then we say, no, no, you need also second degree and third degree. So they finish the third degree and they find themselves without a job. And that's something that say that what was is not working. So what can work? What is the, first of all, you need to look and see that this all the things that we've done not prepare people to the future, to their future economy. So the first thing is to prepare, to, to look to the future, to see what 
we want that our children will do in the future. And in the future we talk about the knowledge age. Uh, we know that in the beginning people in the 80th century, most of the people was uh, working in the agriculture. In the 19th century and the 20s, uh, they work in the factories, in the industrial age. Today, most of the people work in the uh, uh, information age. And our students will work in the knowledge age. What does it mean knowledge age? To, to find the job, they need to create new knowledge. So, what we need to build today is a classroom, schools, education system that teach the student to create knowledge. And this is something very new. And, uh, and that's what we're trying to do in the democratic education system.